So, hi all my um, LGBT friends and others. Um, first of all, I just wanted to tell you, uh, especially all my Christian brothers and sisters, that um, there's more violence. Sorry about all the bumpy up and down, but I wanted to get this out. Um, you know that I listen and subscribe to Stephen Ben to noon, and he's a, um, um, a a Jewish Christian, and he has his own uh, web channel, uh, YouTube site channel. Sorry, and it's under his name Stephen Ben to noon, and um, he's been reporting, and again now it's national news. Finally, the the news media is reporting it. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there, I think it started in 1947 or 48. We had a law in place where the news media had to report the truth. And then Obama in 2012 amended that law stating that the news media didn't have to tell the truth. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, and I don't have all the legalese in front of me. But you can check that out for yourself. Anyway, I just wanted to say that that's why I depend upon other news media, people out there that um, I can discern a little bit better what they're telling me as Christian, what's what. And then I can report to my subscribers uh, what I've heard. And by the way, I want to thank the people who have been subscribing to this channel. Um, I really do appreciate you uh, doing that. And if I, if there's anything that you want me to talk about, would you please let me know? Uh, send me, you know, an email um, or, you know, uh, to this channel. Uh, anything that you want me to talk about uh, that you want to know about or <clears throat> that you want me to expand upon or you know, anything like that, that would be great. Anyway, so um, getting back to Stephen, so there's been more and more attacks happening in Israel and uh, especially at the Temple Mount because um, I believe, well, for one, it's, uh, they're being incited by uh, unknown, unbeknownst powers and also the PLO are inciting, you know, um, uh, hate. And then of course, I'm sorry, but the Muslims there in the East, Middle East, maybe not so much here in America, but I have a feeling that they're told to hate Christians and hate Jews and hate, you know, and who they are to like and not like in their different mosque that they attend. And it's a part of their religion, of course. So there's been more and more stabbings and stonings. And if you, don't, you think, you know, they're, they're showing little kids throwing rocks and that sort of thing. Uh, if you don't think that that's uh, dangerous, I mean, it can kill you. We've heard about stonings. And you get hit in the head just in the right spot with a hard enough object and you will be knocked out and you can die and you can, you know, have bleeding on the brain and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, cushions and, uh, you know, eventual death uh, can occur. And there have been deaths by stoning and by these people. And we're not talking just little children. We're talking, you know, 20 year old, 30 year old people throwing stones at passerby, people who are walking, people are getting stabbed to death, um, you know, and Netanyahu says it's just lone wolves out there, but I'm, you know, that's what he says. I don't have any, any, any proof of anything else. So, and Stephen, who's now living there, has been saying that it's, you know, it's getting bad. It's uh, getting worse and worse. So, as a Christian, that should be our, our meter of what's happening in Israel, what's happening in, uh, in Jerusalem, and, and, uh, as I've said before, as I've stated before, if uh, they start bombing Jerusalem, watch out, it's going to happen here in America. And 
we, we know that there are Russian ships out in the Pacific and out in the east, and they go really fast. They go about 80 miles an hour, believe it or not. Uh, uh, what's the right nautical term? Um, knots per hour, okay? And so real fast that our radar is it's very hard to detect, I understand. And so uh, if, if it should happen, we might, you know, get fired upon. Um, and uh, so anyway, that's just something I would want you to, you know, be, be aware of. Um, and let's see what else I wanted to share with you. Um, I've been going to um, a church and I have been asked by the pastor he wants to hear my story. So I'm hoping Wednesday that we can at least set up a time or I can talk to him privately or whatever. Maybe, we, I don't know. Uh, because Wednesdays usually, you know, get together, chat, um, have dinner and then do a lot of praying for for you know whatever we we decide to you know to pray about and um, so I if you could just keep me in mind and keep me in prayer as I talk to the minister about myself and and um, that I would like to get as many gay and lesbian, bisexual, transsexual people into church so they know just how much God loves them and that they are, you know, loved by their the Savior and that they are redeemed and have been at the cross over 2,000 years ago. And, um, you know, that's, that's where my, I have a heart for that, of course, because that's who I am. So, uh, I don't want any other gay person to experience what I went through. I want to try to help them avoid that, if at all possible. Of course, other problems will come up, but it may be lessened, you know, or maybe not at all. So, um, I, I want to be able to bring them to that church but if it doesn't work out for whatever reason because there's different um, theologies and beliefs and understandings and so forth and different generation no uh, biblical training perhaps so um, I'm gonna try my best to explain to the minister what I've found out about the natural born eunuch, what the Lord has revealed to me, and, uh, and, and take it from there and see, see what happens. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon um, because I feel like I'm, I wanna get on with it. You know, I'm, I'm, I've got that runner in me and I'm, um, anxious uh, about getting things started I like I feel like I'm so behind you know um, and um, I, I've enjoyed the little family that's here at the church it's not always it's not always a huge big number that shows up at the church um, but the people that are there are choice you know and um, I think anyway I mean that's what I'm seeing um, Yeah, so there's been a little bit of a lull in my videos um, because I'm not quite sure what the Lord wants me to say at this time. So I might be doing some different things. Um, I, and I'm not sure what that's going to be. So uh, I definitely will always be talking about the Lord and what He reveals to me biblically. Uh, so that will always be a part of this channel. Um, I just might broaden it a little bit to maybe a little bit more personal and or some other interests that I have. Um, I kind of mentioned in another video about um, Granatelli Auto, um, where I'm, you know, fixing up my car. I think it's important to have hobbies, to have, you know, sort of a downtime where 
you know, you're just busy with your hands or you're just, you know, just doing things, you know, that uh, doesn't really require a lot of thought um, so that you can just, you know, have, I think the Lord asks us just to, to be ready, to, to keep busy, to keep doing our thing. And that doesn't necessarily mean hard labor work, you know, and where you're not, but it's more where maybe you have time to think of things, but yet you're still, still, sorry, still being productive. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that, those are my thoughts for today. And I really wanted to get the information out about what's going on in Israel. Um, and I don't want you to be anxious for, for that, uh, because these are things that are going to be happening, the Lord says. And I don't get the feeling from Jesus that it's something that we are to be anxious about. Even when he talks about earthquakes in diverse places. Diverse places. Um, and volcanoes going off. And all these things like in Matthew 24. Um, I, get, I get the sense of peace but just because it, it's happened elsewhere doesn't mean that it won't happen here I mean I'm I'm here in California I mean you know so I I, I know of a lot of people that have moved out and, and don't want to be here because it's going to be devastating when the earthquake does hit the San Andreas um, there's been estimates of 18 feet of separation um, that will decimate Los Angeles or San Francisco or you know all up and down the the San Andreas Fault which goes from uh, as far as I know from uh, San Diego up through Palm Springs all the way up to San Francisco and then continues on into up into Washington so with that happening and then um, the also the uh, mid-Atlantic uh, riff, like what's going on with Ohio. Ohio just had a 4.5 earthquake uh, just the other day, two of them. And uh, so something's going on there as well. And that will eventually split. But again, it's not something that we as Christians need to be worried about. Uh, I, I, you know, I would suggest that you have provisions for yourselves, water and food, have some um, monetary monies with you so that if there's an emergency you can use that. And I'm not talking about dollar bills because those are worthless, but just to be you know, prepared. I think the Lord gave us a brain for a reason and to, to use it um, is what, you know, the wise thing to do. Um, and of course, help your neighbor and, and so forth. Um, anyway, so uh, things may be changing as far as uh, for for me in the in the future, uh, where we may be. But um, that's been kind of put on hold for now. So uh, that's which is fine. Um, I'm I'm where I'm supposed to be right now. So. Uh, I just trust in the Lord and that's what I try to do daily is just to give myself to him and um, follow you know what it is that he wants me to do for that day and that's all we can do um, and you you know what it is that you need to do that the Lord has put on your heart to do for him and you just have to take that first step and just do it no matter how weird or odd it feels, you just have to trust in him that he will provide for you. And trust me, he will. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope I didn't go over my minutes. I haven't had a chance to look down. But if so, I'll have to try to edit this somehow. Okay, love you guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.